But okay, if you're as well, this is part three, concludes the video of this. So yeah, I could not get a good, hem complete hermetic seal on either of these connections. Don't know why. Why? It's such a pain in the ass, but at least I got good mechanical strength. There's a very slight bubble on each of them, so I said screw it. I'm not going to waste any more solder, even though I wasted the whole bloody roll of it. Either way, it was only a metre. They only give you like a metre of solder anyway, and when you buy um, the torch, it only came with a metre of solder. So, you know what? I'm not going to waste, I put any more um, work into it, so stuff it. I put silicon around them. Because it's only a slight um, leak anyway, and high pressure, so yeah. Mechanically, the strength, the strength is good. The, the, yeah, it's bonded, but I have not got a good complete seal, as I said. So, yeah. I ended up putting silicon on them. So this is my flush valve, lock tighted it on. Because I, I tighten it up and it ends up at the bottom. It's a pain in the ass of a spot, so I just put it at the top where I want it and a bit of lock tight to seal it. As well as locking it on. Same with this, I didn't need lock tight. Just screw it on and it bites in and it seals. So yeah, the hose will go on there, up to the tank up here. So now I'll do a test run. I went for that silicon to dry first, it might be ages before that dries before I can put it do a proper pressure test. That's if we put enough silicon on them, that is. Alright. Bloody stinks. Yeah, it smells like it's impressive. Old, referred to an old, old, old warning. Pretty best not to breathe that shit in. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I've used this old um, condenser part of the fridge just to sit it on the chair so I sit the, the compressors on. But yeah. Flash a crap letter there. Back it up to the tank. Only drawback is the moisture from the air getting in here. That's probably the only drawback with it. Either way, nothing lasts forever, so. Might as well put on the sun disc. So yeah, I'll probably just do it, wire it up this way for now. Just leave a double adapter on it. The wire about the electric side of the switch later on. I'll disconnect that. Just put the camera down for a second. So yeah. Basically that's all the solder I've collected from dripping from it. Just a, I'm not going to waste any more. Here's the rods I use. Sig weld, gas welding. Although this, I need a higher temperature. So yeah, the solar side on it worked a lot, so I just use that. Got given this recently too. It's a, I think it's an RF board. I did have a rear projection TV that would have fitted, but ended up scrapping it because it was just too far gone, so i just got some parts now. Got some master shooter transistors on it too. Any crappy g locks on capacitors there either way. Got parts everywhere. Heap of parts in there, got a shitload of spare parts in there so... The only parts I don't have is um, decent electrolytic capacitors, so yeah. Any electronic work or something like that, fix it's electronic, I got parts. So yeah. Either way, I've got to set the compressors back here. Hose screws under there, into here. Once I get all this worked out, then I gotta start planning how the hell this electric thing's gonna um, wire up. But as I said, I'm not gonna worry about that for now. I'll just do it this way. Test it, if it's good, passes my test, then I can start working on the electrical half. But yeah, either way, it's working out good. Now I got a spare tank, just still got air in it. I have to tap the gauge because that bubble makes a needle, um, pushes a needle around, they can't get a good reading. It's supposed to be up when I'm, um, um it's supposed to be upright, but yeah. It's at a stupid angle, that's why the needle can't get a good reading. Let's open this. Tap the bubbles out of the way, the needle could get an accurate reading. If I tip it, get the bubbles out of the way. Oh, yeah. I think it's accurate anyway. Yeah, the bubbles, um, the, the, the plate that the needle's got, the bubbles move it around and 
take 20 psi off it, but yeah. If it was mounted up right properly like that way, it would have been um, better. That's how the design of the mounted, so the bubbles up here, so that they don't interfere with a needle, but yeah. Either way, I'll get a decent air gauge for this one when I finish with this, so yeah. Still trialing it out at the moment, so that concludes the videos for this system so far, and I'll have to work out the next plan of attack with it, so yeah. Thanks for watching.